We just left our home for the last month in Pistoia, Italy, drove our car through Tuscany, and we are heading to one of Tuscany's best spots, the hot springs in Saturnia. Oh, ow, ow. We are spending our day in this beautiful destination before heading off on a six week van life trip through three countries. If you're new here, we're Riss and Sean. We're a photographer and a tattoo artist traveling full time as of this year. We want to take you along on our crazy journey. So hit that subscribe button and let's explore Tuscany. After about a three and a half hour ride, we've arrived at the parking lot of Saturnia. Saturnia is a destination all over Instagram. It's gorgeous looking bright blue waters. It's a natural hot spring with all these like individual swimming pools built into it. It looks pretty packed right now. It is a Saturday. I wish that we had come here on probably a weekday. Hopefully people clear out soon though because it's starting to get later at night and then maybe we can have the place almost to ourselves. You'll see why either in a few minutes or tomorrow morning why we definitely didn't want it to be super packed while we we're here. That Thailand dry bag is coming in clutch right now. Best three dollars I ever spent. From what we saw, there's no public transportation to the hot springs. There might be like a bus to the actual town of Saturnia. We're not 100% sure on that, but most people recommend that you rent a car to be able to come here. It looks like there's also a resort right next door and a couple bed and breakfasts with a vineyard. So you could stay here for a couple days if you really wanted to. It's pretty adorable around here. It's like they have a pizza vending machine. That's the first time I've ever seen that in my life. Five euros, you wait three minutes and you got a hot pizza, 24 hours a day. A pizza vending machine? You know you're in Italy when. So many people. <laughs> I think the first time I ever saw this is like wonderful places in the world or something like that on Facebook page, shared it. But this place is so like Instagram famous now. It's probably seven days a week packed. Just our luck, the toilet is closed, so we haven't even been able to get into the water yet. Plus also, we want to kill some time. We're thinking about going to grab some dinner real quick and then come back before sunset and see what it looks like. If not, we're going to find a hotel and do sunrise. Going behind where that waterfall was, it looks so much more blue looking out. There's a reason everybody's there. It's cool. I mean, there's literally, I watched that. I reached out and touched the water. It was like a hot waterfall going into all those pools. This is our first natural hot spring before. We've never actually done a natural hot spring together before. We're walking down to this little pizzeria that we passed and it's so adorable. Hopefully the food's good. This area, I'm telling you, this area is perfect. I love it. The pizzeria doesn't open up till seven, but it's only like 10 minutes from now, so we're gonna wait. Just got a place booked right up the road. So either way, if it's good tonight, I think we'll come back in the morning for sunrise. Dinner is served. We're gonna scarf up this pizza margarita and we'll so be back we in a second. Back over. Yeah, we need to get back over there before the sun sets. Yeah, so talk to you guys in a second. Go, go, go. The sun's getting low. Oh, fingers crossed for a beautiful sunset tonight. Way less people and it's a lot bluer right now. There's no changing rooms and currently the bathrooms are out of order but you just leave your shoes and like your items on the ground before you walk into the pools. Oh, it's so warm! Ah! I was not expecting it to be this warm. Is it, you said it hurts? Yeah. Really? We did not bring water shoes. We didn't read that before we came, so our feet are about to be tortured. It's so warm. And it feels nice once you sit down and you're not walking on the pebbles. But this is definitely a perfect time to come. There's way less people and it's really, really pretty. Watching the sunset on the hill over here, super pretty. What's really cool is like, there's all these pools. We're in like a big one, so there's like people with us. But so there's a bunch of like smaller ones all around you. They're little private pools. And like I read online, like, if you see people in one of the smaller pools, don't get in there with them. Give them their private space. 
But yeah, the water's so warm. We have our own little private waterfall right here coming down on us. It's pretty awesome. I uh, was a little skeptical earlier when we showed up with the harsh sunlight and like really gray looking water. But now that you're in it, you can see the blue. I am really excited to come back for sunrise in the morning. I'm doing the eye over the boneless crawl right now because it's so shallow. currently crawling my way over to the edge because there's a huge river I want to show you guys it like trickles down so if you don't want to be in the crowds you can walk even farther down the river it just won't be as deep of pools as it is right now it's so beautiful and I'm in love right now there's a bunch of little tiny worms in the water they're like little red ones they're not a big deal. Know that before you come here in case you get a little freaked out. The little, little squiggly worms. It looks so nice when you're in it and you're warm. And now I'm freezing and the sun's down so it doesn't make it any better. <laughs> Check out that full moon up there though. It's a beautiful sunset and now we're gonna get dressed and go back to our place for the night. We'll see you guys in the morning when we show you sunrise here. Well guys, this might be one of the few times you ever see me wake up for sunrise. I am so tired. It's still dark out. Oh wait, no. There's some blue sky. Oh no, I just ripped off the curtain. I was expecting to be fully dark, but it's all good. Let's go. This village that we're staying in is so adorable. We had dinner last night, right here, just at this table. And it's historical and it's small. You can't drive into the actual city center. We had to park a little bit outside. You want a pizza for breakfast? Yeah. It'll be done in four minutes. Oh my gosh, look at how much steam that is compared to yesterday. Let's do some cool drone shots. Push and shove, let go of control. The sun's coming up, Marissa's out of bed, she's already went for a swim. It's a crazy morning, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I think she's excited to be going to Croatia in a few days. We definitely recommend coming for sunrise. It was beautiful, there's way less people. Uh, you do, if you want to fly like a drone or take pictures, just be ready. There's going to be other people with the same idea. It is a Sunday, so I'd probably recommend coming in the middle of the week, because even as a Sunday, it wasn't too crazy. Definitely, yeah, sunrise was way better and it was a lot prettier. I'm really tired. I might take a nap before we go to Rome today. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta edit this video. She wants to have it out when? Tonight? Tonight, yeah. yeah. So I don't think she's taking a nap. This she's... is our most current video. I'm literally doing the video and posting it the same day. Thanks for watching and make sure you're subscribed. Later. <laughs> I guess we are. There's a back way through here. I can't figure out how to get into the pizzeria from the parking lot. The parking was in the back of the place. Where are you going? Oh. Should just listen to what I said and walk around the back. Such a cute little area. Ah! Sean's trying to run me into the back of a car.